you are with digging an iron this. chisel and hammer in hand. Richly, Tani says hammers a rock on a hilltop not far from where she lives, in the mountainous settlement of Uis. Tani says is part of an impoverished community, largely made up of small-scale miners who for centuries have made a living selling jewels and minerals like tin, copper and crystal. The Ministry of Mines and Energy spokesperson, Eshoshange Hashelea, tells VOA the authority has at least 5,000 to 10,000 registered small-scale miners in its database, some of whom are operating outside the U.S. There are still those uh, small-scale miners which are still uh, mining illegally, uh, sometimes simply because they believe they uh, born there, they've been doing that before all these um, requirements came about. Uh, but yes, there are a lot of other unregistered um, uh, small-scale miners which are mining illegally. And this is a challenge from the regulator point of view. But legally okay. or illegally, there is a family tradition of mining in this region that precedes the large-scale industrialization of the area. The thing is our grandparents were mining already in this area. That's why we are also mining in this area. Mm. Because we learn from them. Mm. If they fit us with the team. Mm. And then we see how our elders were doing. Mm. That's why we are following, following their footsteps. John Andrew Kelly is an activist in the OIS. But we are poor people, my lord. We are poor, poor, poor people. Most of us, after the opening, reopening of this mine currently, we're hoping for the green pastors which have come like a crocodile is waiting in the water and the food is coming to them. We feel like we will enjoy the fruits, my Lord, but it's not like that. This is the time we are more oppressed. He says the miners have been displaced by huge corporations such as Australia's Andrada Mining and China's Xingfeng Investments. These large multinational corporations now own the land the indigenous or artisanal miners have been working. Andrada Mining, registered in South Africa with headquarters in the United Kingdom, says there is no artisanal mining activity in the company's current footprint, Andrada spokesperson told VOA. Xing Feng Investments, on the other hand, said the company recognizes the small scale miners' presence and is willing to work with them. But they have not been approached officially or unofficially by any of the small-scale miners for consent to mine within the boundaries of their mining premises. Authorities admit these indigenous mining areas are now private land. To solve the problem, government officials say they are consulting with the mining giants to allow the small-scale miners access to these areas. Vitalio Angula, VOA News, Wintuk, Namibia.